Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and this time I'm with Fake Grand Order. And there was a bunch of new interludes added, so guess whose interlude I'm doing? My most hated character, Arjuna. Uh, for backstory on Arjuna, when I was trying to pull for Quetzalcoatl, this motherfucker shows up to get me MP2, and so I can't stand Arjuna at all. I think he sucks, his unit sucks, his animations suck in, in North America, currently. Uh, and in general, I don't like him. He sucks. He's a terrible person. He's a terrible character. He's a terrible brother. Everything about him is bad, and anyone who likes him is bad. So let's, of course, after I've built up this terrible character, let's uh, do his interlude. And this is the team we're going to be rocking. So basically, if Arjuna dies, then this entire team loses, and I'm going to switch out my swimsuit. You don't deserve to see me in my swimsuit, Arjuna. You can be in my... Outfit, Saber's outfit, there you go. That'll work out pretty good for you. Okay, now let me do a quick check to see if I'm recording. I am, okay. There you are, Karna. Arjuna. No obstacles remain for me. Even if they did, I would destroy them all. This will be the end. I may be called a coward, but I will kill you. I need to kill you. You know me, after all. So this is karma. There's no, there's not enough room. There's not, there's not room enough in the world for two supreme marksmen. My land should be alone in its ability to scorch the land. There's no question who dies here. The loser will become unnecessary. Come at me, Arjuna. Lay it all on the line. Give it everything you have. S don't speak down to me. You asked for it. I mean, Karna has type advantage. He's a Lancer. Brilliant. Down he goes. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I win. My, 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 my. I added an extra my. I can't laugh very good because my family's asleep. Is this truly victory? Or is it at, or is this at, at or is this actually defeat? I have no sense of satisfaction, no joy from this victory. I don't even feel a sense of relief that the battle is over. The only thing that I have is the ceaseless feeling of emptiness. I just killed the man who knew me best. I have no regrets. My original sworn enemy, my oldest enemy, we were destined to fight each other, and yet... That man who waded through battle after battle in blinding golden armor was the one and only hero who knew the ugly side of me. Why, Karna? Why? Why did you smile? And then my life came to an end while I yet pondered that mystery. As Arjuna, the hero of Endowed, Endowed, I existed to protect the future. Okay, some heavy shit coming here from Arjuna. And then I was summoned as a servant and participated in many battles. I trust Master wholeheartedly. I understand that she hates me. She may be ordinary, and there are times when she is too optimistic. Yet still, she's a good master. Faithful, accurate decision-making skills. And she does not treat us servants as mere familiars. She treats us with respect, but is not distant. Many servants would consider her the ideal master. I numbing myself and number myself among them. This is why I unleashed the absolute limit, my noble. P this is why I unleashed the absolute limit of my noble phantasm's power, and yet I have yet to show my true face to master. No, I mustn't show it. My blunt ugliness out in the open. Dude, it's okay. Just tell me that you suck. It's okay. Master, I have detected numerous enemies. It seems it seems like a surprise attack. Comfortable battles, a sense of fulfillment. I feel knowing that I am fighting the cause of absolute justice. The most wonderful key, the most wonderful cause of saving the world, and yet I cannot stop laughing. Conan, why are you the fuck are you barking right now? Arjuna? No, it's nothing. Now let us go annihilate the enemy. Okay, Conan apparently is not a big fan of Arjuna at all. That's why he's not stopped. He has not stopped barking at all. 
Can you shut the fuck up, you giant fucking asshole dog? No, he won't. He refuses to. God, I hate you so much. He, oh, he finished. Okay. Sorry for my harsh words, Cotton. I just got back from work and I'm tired. Uh, well, this is a shit hand. I should be fine, though. Oh, you know what? I, I realized too late the actual thing I should be equipping. 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 Let's do this. This should be easy as hell. Ah, uh, now I don't want to waste a noble phantasm. I hate wasting noble phantasms. Now hopefully you kill him in one shot. Thank you. Kill him in one shot. Oh, you suck so much, Arjuna. You horrible, horrible, horrible boy. You absolute gutter for trash, Arjuna. There we go. Uh. Okay. That should be enough to hopefully kill. Arjuna without his any of his steroids really sucks. So let's see if this is actually able to take out anything. So, come on. No, he didn't take out anything. Well, he did, actually. Alright, good job. You're not totally worthless, just kind of worthless. Okay, well. Do some of that. Do some of this. So that's good on the junior. And you're still short. So. Not for long though. He should have it now. The next turn I beat it and then we can continue the story. The story of a boy. An extremely bad boy known as Arjuna. I could feel. Ah! Bug on my face. Nobody can see the bug on my face, but there was totally a bug on my face. There we go. There we go. And now he should 100% kill everything on the field, and if he doesn't, I have to confirm the kill now. There we go. And boom. If anything survives this, it just really goes to show how bad Arjuna is. That with three buffs, not three buffs, multiple buffs, he can't get the job done. But he should be able to kill. He missed that druid, I think. Oh no, he didn't. He got it. Okay, fine. He got him, he got him, he got him. Alright, let's move on to the next part of the story. Oh, I'm so close. Now I forget, does the actual story continue or... Okay. You know what I should look for? Stop, well, no. There we go. And then... No, where are you? There you are. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's get done. Any response zero. No problems on our end, I recommend returning. Let's get back, Arjuna. Let's keep it to Arjuna. Yes, understood. By the way, Master, was there something on my face a few minutes ago? Nothing. I didn't look myself. At least on my end, I did not see any fluctuations in his spirit origin's value. Perhaps it is fatigued. 
Arjuna, you've been volunteering for battle rather frequently recently. And the only other servants, especially the battle-hungry ones, have been complaining that it's not fair. I have, may have overexerted myself. Understood. I'll be here to leave the battles to the other servants for a while. Okay, good work again. That's funny. The idea of just having a bunch of servants and they're actually fighting for their screen time. Aha, senpai. I win in this round of cards. I will be taking the sesame bun as prize. But if you eat it right before bed, it's all yours. Hey, <laughs> don't sulk, senpai. I have one for you, too. Aw. Sweet dreams, senpai. Senpai? Senpai. Good night to you, too, Fo. Fo! Fo just says his name. He's like a Pokemon. Question mark? I defeated him. He's defeated. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I win. My, my, my. Arjuna. Master? You. Saw my face, didn't you? Wah. Suddenly he turned into an earthbound villain. You're finally awake, Master. I am surprised. I thought you were Arjuna. You do not seem all... T you do not seem at all bewildered by the unexpected scene you just witnessed. It seems that we have fallen into a servant's dream. It's likely that it's my dream, or that of someone who has some connection with me. If it's mine, then I apologize in advance. I'm used to it. This happens a lot. Spoken like a true master. But getting too used to this is hardly a good thing. You may one day be a prisoner of a different type of nightmare. Should you die inside a dream, your spear will perish. If you die in the dream, you die in real life. Anyway, we can do little if we remain in this darkness. We must analyze our surroundings. Master, do not move. If we lose sight of each other, it will be difficult for us to find another one another again. It's subtle, but I sense a breeze. Let's head in that direction. This place, it's like a labyrinth, and it's quite elaborate. Not only that, no, one moment. This is not right. I do not understand. What's wrong? My only sense of this, I admit, intu intuitive? But this labyrinth does not lead to any higher than we are now. The only path leads lower, to the bottom. So there's no exit. Yes, exactly. It's nonsensical structured, as one only a dream can be. Anyway, let's begin our descent. I have a feeling this is our best option. It is annoying, though, to have so many creatures skirtling about. No, it shouldn't be an issue. We should have no trouble breaking through. Now then, let us cut them down. Let's. And Conan does not like it when there's a break in the story, because that's when he starts barking. I feel you, man, but what can I do? I'm only one man. Also, sorry if you feel, if you hear any mic thing. I have to literally carry my mic on my stomach to record. It's really the best option I have that's quick and easy. So, apologies in advance. Uh, I'll do this. Uh, okay. So here's the plan, is that we're going to wipe the floor with these, with stack one. Go full auto on the second stack, and then continue on from there. That should work out. Man. Just gotta beat up some skeleton. Fate stories are great because literally the story is happening and then all of a sudden you get attacked by like a skeleton man. And now it's time to fight the skeleton man. Because the skeleton man holds the key to your escape. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now this, this should be easy. 
Uh, then I'll do that. You should kill. Arjuna, listen to me. You should be able to kill all these people super easy. I won't understand you if you lose. Super easy, and then we have the Skeleton King, which should be taken down. No, yep, no problem here. Actually, if he doesn't kill him, that's going to be extremely disappointing on multiple levels. Use it. Uh, that's all I need. And there we go. Now if I'm lucky, this also has a chance to insta-kill. So let's see what happens. My chances are I won't be able to insta-kill and I have to actually kill the Skeleton King with my bear card. No, he, he survived it. Because he got a defense stack. That's fine. He'll pick up the slack. Because he got one crit, and one crit from two double boosted waiver means basically you're dead. The only thing stronger is one boost crit from Merlin, or two actually. I take that back. Ooh, I fought- I killed 15 demonic people. Neato. And I got a bone! Hell yeah. I like bones. Who doesn't like bones? Alright, and now this video is getting long and it actually takes me an extremely long time to upload this, so consider this part one. I'll be back for a part two later for the continuing adventures of Arjuna. I hopefully will be able to finish it in part two, but whatever. Uh, so that was today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Um, comment if you like. I enjoy reading your comments. I read them all the time. And I'll see you next time whenever I decide to record something which is usually once a day. Whenever, whatever video I decide to record, see me then. I hope you are able to follow me there, whether it be Teppin, Dokkan, Bitter Batter Pop, Dragalia, Hello Kitty, all that good stuff. All right, now I'm done. Goodbye, everyone.